Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lucas Monster. And if you guys didn't know, the Star Wars The Black Series 5's, Arc Trooper 5's, has finally been revealed. It's about time. We've been asking for this figure for a very long time. It's been personally on my channel. It's it's pretty much been the, the center focus of my channel for the last three years. So I am just above the moon excited about this reveal. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about this figure and going pretty much an in-depth dive on all the small little details you might not have missed that this figure has or doesn't have. And real quick before we do jump into the video, we are actually doing a giveaway at 10,000 subs. We're giving away these two figures here. And you do have to be subbed to the channel to enter, but we are so close to 10,000 subs. The support over the last two days have been incredible, and we are pretty much about 100 subscribers away from 10k, which is literally blowing my mind, and I cannot thank you guys enough. So thank you guys so much. I do really appreciate it. If you do want to enter, make sure you go down, hit the like button, and subscribe, and then I'll release a giveaway video once we hit 10k. And jumping right into this video, uh, just to start off, this figure is a Walmart exclusive, which is a little unfortunate. Walmart isn't always the best with their figures, and it did go up today, May 4th at 9 a.m. Central Time, and it is already sold out. It sold out within the hour. I believe it was a good 10-15 minutes, and it was sold out. Now, I am a little disappointed with the way they went about this reveal and pre-order just because there wasn't enough time to really get the word out there. I didn't know this was a Walmart exclusive until 15 minutes before it went live, which is very unfortunate. It wasn't really, the information wasn't provided on when it was an exclusive and when it was going up for pre-order. Like I said, I didn't know personally until 15 minutes before, and so I know there's a lot of people that wanted this figure and didn't know it went up for pre-order, and by the time they find out, it was already sold out. And I was lucky enough to get my pre-order in, so I'm very grateful about that. But it's interesting to see that this is actually the only Walmart exclusive today that did sell out. All the Bad Batch ones at the time of filming this video are still in stock. And uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. But as well as the Jesse figure, Arc Trooper Jesse, that one stayed in stock for about two weeks. So I think that's really like a testimony to how popular Fives is. And it's really interesting to see he sold out in 15, 20 minutes while Jesse took two weeks to sell out. I think that's kind of crazy. Anyway, next up, looking at the box, it's interesting for the side box art here. They actually used the Phase 2 look for the helmet, and that's based off his, his like, Season 5 Darkness on Umbara arc look. And it's pretty inter interesting to see that they used that for uh, the look here. They also did put the black line on this look, whereas in the animated show, of course, he wouldn't have had the black line. So it's interesting to see them do that, but the actual figure itself is based off of his Season 3 look, and so it's on the ARC Trooper armor, which is accurate. So either way works, it's just interesting to see the figure different than the box. Now, actually looking at this figure, this guy does look incredible. I really love that they did swap the ammo pouch on the chest to the other side. That is accurate. I know they didn't do that for, I don't know if it was Fordo or one of the other ones, but I'm really glad they decided to switch sides and make it accurate. So super happy about that. And most of the paint apps here do look really good. There are a few that are missing though, and I do want to go ahead and take a dive and look at some of the missing paint apps, as well as some that look a little wonky. And so I think the big elephant in the room with paint apps is the helmet deco. Uh, the the kind of like the logo on the helmet is a little tiny for what it should be compared to the show. And I'll throw up an image of what it should look like right next to it. But uh, unfortunately, this is just a kind of side effect of the transition from animated style to realistic. Uh, basically, the difference is on the animated helmets, the fin is a lot higher up on the forehead. And with the realistic, it's a lot lower. And so they kind of had to squeeze that helmet decal into that tiny space. Space, whereas on the animated helmet, it's not as small. And so it's basically just a casualty of the transition from animated to realistic. It's a little unfortunate, and I know there's probably ways they could have worked around it, but uh, it is what it is. I'm not too upset about it. I know I saw some people comparing it to, like, the Jesse helmet, and that's not the same at all. They did their best to translate it. And I know it came off as a little small, but I do really appreciate the work that they tried to put into this figure to make it as accurate as possible. And like I said, it's just a, it's a little unfortunate but it's just the casualty of the transition from animated style to realistic. And uh, the next big thing that is actually really bothering me is they did leave out the gray on the like the brim of the helmet around the back. Now this is a feature that Arc Trooper Echo did have where they did include the gray paint there but on some of the clones they just don't do it and it looks like um, Fives is a casualty of that. It's a little unfortunate I, I'm not too upset about it because I'm just really happy we're getting a Fives, but uh, it is a little unfortunate that Echo is going to have the gray, but Fives is not. 
And another thing that I did notice is with the pauldron. Both of his shoulder pauldrons are the same gray color, when in reality, in the actual show, one of them was a black color and the other one was a whitish gray, and so they completely missed the black pauldron. They kind of made them both gray. So it's interesting to see that. It's not the end of the world. It's one of those where I didn't even notice until... Uh, I went back and looked at some reference images, but yeah, one of the pauldrons is supposed to be black, which is actually less paint apps, so they actually added more paint apps to make it incorrect, which is kind of funny, but either way, it's one of those very subtle differences that most most people aren't going to know the difference, but me, a 5 super fan, did notice it. <laughs> And I really want to take a moment to appreciate how good this head sculpt looks for a fives. This one obviously is the Tamor Morrison version and not the like D. Bradley Baker animated version. But I absolutely love how this guy translated from animated to realistic with that Tamor Morrison head sculpt. I absolutely love the expression they gave him. They kind of gave him some angry eyebrows to kind of give him like even like a little bit of a smirk too. Like he has a smug look on his face and I absolutely love it. It really fits Five's personality. And of course, he does have the five tattoo on the temple as well as the goatee, which I love. So I'm not sure if this is a new mold for the clone head, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was. So really excited about that. I think it looks incredible and I'm I'm really, really happy to see this. And I'm just waiting to get this guy in hand because I, I really want to get a closer look at how awesome that face is. And then the last question I had for this guy was whether or not he had the new shoulders and new knees that the brand new just plain white face 2 clone had. And with some close examination, the shoulder pad, or not the shoulder pads, but like the, yeah, I guess kind of like the shoulder pauldron pads um, are a little bit smaller. So that does look like the older sculpt. And then the knees do look like they are glued to the top. Now, I'm not confirming this because it is hard to tell from the photos, but with my... With my, I guess, it's astute observations, it does look like it is on just that standard Arc Trooper mold and is not updated, which it would have been nice to see the update, but I do think that Arc Trooper mold still stands up, so I'm not too upset about it. I just, I cannot wait for them to push out those updates to the rest of the clones in the future. So yeah, overall, I'm still just super ecstatic that we got this figure finally. Like I said, it's my Holy Grail figure, my, my most wanted figure of all time every single top 10 list that i've done that has to do with fives or like any anything that fives could possibly be the number one he's been the number one so uh like i said i've been waiting for this figure forever and i know a lot of fans have too so i am super excited to finally have it let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the figure and even some of the errors that i pointed out if you guys think that's still worth it and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching